Good morning, everybody. It's like 7 o'clock, 7.15 or something. Um, I slept in a little bit, which is good. Yesterday, Manny and Emily asked if they could paint their front door, which it does need it. He got a glass panel from one of his job sites or something. So I picked out a color called Black, or no, pardon me, Cracked Pepper. I hope it works. It's so pretty. Our, our leaves are starting to drop slowly, but they're starting. We just need one good frost and they'll be gone. Well, not all the houses have done Halloween, but it's still pretty to see all the leaves, right? I'm not too far from home now. Manny downstairs is painting his door and then he's changing the, the glass to clear. Yeah, it on. needs an update. It does need an update. Yeah, we're just it's... gonna put a clear panel in the center there. And the color is cracked pepper. Yeah. It's a nice color. And I wanna, have, I wanna show you how to turn this uh, clear panel and do that. Farmhouse style. Well, no. Beautiful. Yeah, Brooke is making a it's just cut too many colors. Okay, Manny's almost got his first coat on. It's looking good. Well, it's looking amazing. It really is. And he sprayed the hardware too. That's looking good too. Oops. Good job, Manny. Cheers, thank you. Good job. See anything else about the hardware? You're coming really close. Yeah. Come on, real, real close. Wow, it looks good. It looks like brand new. Amazing when a can of spray paint does, right? Sure it does. It looks beautiful, Manny. Good job. Nice light coats and a nice good wet coat. That's good, good job. Boy's a pro. Okay, I think this part of the door needs painted too, but maybe they're not done, but I'm gonna suggest that. But once the window pane's taken out, it'll look really good. And they need to move these blue bins, obviously, and put a nice planter there. But I think if they do all that, it can look pretty good. Emily gave me a squash, so I'm gonna roast that up for dinner tonight. I might as well eat it. I got it uh, here to eat. I haven't bought a lot of groceries. I just picked up some cream and eggs, some oats, and a couple bananas to last me until I leave. I don't know how long they'll take, but just I'm gonna put them in at 375, 400. And I'm just, I'm not having them with sauce tonight. I'm just going to do a little Parmesan butter with some garlic. They didn't take very long at all. Maybe 10, 15 minutes and they're done. So I'm going to let them cool a bit. And all you do is pull this back. It's like spaghetti, right? I don't know if you've had it, but if you haven't. And I'm just doing a Parmesan garlic butter on them. That's going to be my dinner. Real simple. I'll eat both of them. It's not huge. It's about the size of my hand. So I'll eat them both up. I just added some butter, some fresh garlic that I uh, just cubed up. I love garlic. And I'll put some pepper on them. I already put salt on them when I, when I bake them. And that's how I'm gonna eat them. That's my dinner, pretty simple. I just added some garlic and fresh garlic cut up butter and some Parmesan cheese. I'm just doing one up for now because I don't know if I'll be able to eat two, but I'll see when I go, as I go, I should say. But that's my dinner tonight. I don't have to cook. It makes it real easy and it's fresh. So looks good, right? These are great if you make a meat sauce and bake them again in the oven with some cheese and stuff. Oh, they're fabulous, but I don't need all that. Well, I only managed to eat half of one, but I'm full and I don't, I can save that one for tomorrow. So easy not cooking and I'm, it was very yummy with the garlic and the Parmesan cheese and the butter, mm, yummy. Tomorrow I'll heat that up and that'll be my dinner. They're going out to a Halloween party. I helped them get dressed. They look fabulous. Hi everyone. How y'all doing today? I hope everyone's great. I'm having a really crafty day today with this, but I'm going to keep on trucking. I have to find uh, two little birdies and I'm going to go by the thrift store and I'm going to run into the grocery store behind me here right now and just grab a few little things that I need. I don't need much. And then I'm going to go home and pack and uh, get ready to go on my trip. I did go to the grocery store and just pick up some cream and some oats just for the next few days. And oats don't go bad anyways. Anyways, I'm going to get busy and sort this out. Okay, I'm boiling up four eggs to eat for lunch for the next day or two. Um, I have some Brussels sprouts I have to use up, so I'll use those for dinner tonight. 
maybe with some shrimp because I have that left. I don't have much left in my freezer. And then, of course, I'm cleaning out the crispers too. I got to get all that done. Then I'm going to run downstairs. And I was laughing in my video. It looks like I'm hoarding all this Christmas stuff. Really, it's not. I pulled it out of the bins and I piled it on top of the bins. So it looks like I have a lot. I don't have as much as you think I do. But I am going to go down there and go through the garland part of it. Because what's not good, I'm not going to keep. So this is what I'm doing today. Up tonight. I have uh, green onion and some green onions left. I guess I can give that away. The cilantro is about to turn. So I'll just throw that in the garbage. And I don't have much left in the fridge. I'm going to go through the rest of it right now. Well, the fridge is pretty much empty. Um, I can give the lemons and the green onions away. I can actually freeze the roadie skins. And that's about it. Yeah. I don't have much left. And I've been eating out of my freezer, so I don't have nothing in there. I have my meals prepped for the next two days. I have a cup, four eggs in here. I made a little egg salad, just Brussels sprouts. I just did salt and pepper and a little pat of butter and butter I had left over. I'm good. For dinner, I'll just add a few shrimp or something. Little, little mix that <laughs> dinners, but that's okay. I'm just eating what I have in my fridge. No point in wasting it. I bought this large uh, rubber shoe mat from the dollar store to make it easy for Emily. Easy for me because I know which ones they are. She doesn't, right? Instead of her, me trying to walk around and try to figure all this out, I'm just going to do it all on one tray. It's just mostly the little ones anyways. I got the plants on here that need to be watered and cared for a little more than the rest of them. And then I'm going to ask her to come upstairs and I'm going to explain it all to her. But um, these are kind of the ones that need baby to bit. So it's all organized. And I have a water temperature thing here that she can use. And I have a jug for her to use for watering. So that's all done. Got that done. Next project. Well, I'm sitting in the parking lot. I'm going into um, a store. I'm waiting for my friends. Of course, I'm the first one here because I'm the first one for everything. And I look like a little sheepdog. I need a hair trim before I get on the plane. But that might not happen. I need a pedicure too, but that might not happen either. We'll see how much time I have left. I'm pushing my luck here. With the glasses on, he's pretty. Isn't he? I don't know. Yeah, these are beautiful. And that stag there. I, I have a thing for deers for some reason. Nice if you have a big table. Rose does, though. Oh, I've got the feather tree. Look at this stag. <gasps> He's beautiful. How much is this one? I know they sell for like four hundred dollars, and this one is three seventy-five. So he must sell for a lot in the store. But he is pretty. Take a really quick spin in the Valley Village. I shouldn't be here, but I'm close, so I stopped. Let's see what they have. Well, they got some Christmas stuff at the end of the aisles here. So I'm gonna run through that. I don't have a long time to be in here. That's cute, somebody maybe made that. Kinda cute, oh, it's a dollar store, Never mind. This is cute too. I don't really need that kind of stuff, but I'd like a little house. If I can find a little house. Not that I need it. I don't need anything. Just taking a peek, right? Let's see what they have. Love's nice. And I see they, oh, they got a glass house here. Maybe that would work. I really want a Christmas picture, but I want a big, I'd like reindeers or something. Oh, happiness is homemade. I don't want that. That little picture's cute. Just it's cheap looking, but it's cute. I would like to find something with a deer or something. I'm more into that. The beach is calling and I must go. Yeah, well, I hear you, girlfriend, because I must go too. That is so cute. Three dollars and they're charging three dollars. That doesn't make sense. No. I wish for you 
energy to happiness, mother of God. Dublin Castle. Okay. Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick because I got a lot of stuff to do. So I'll just let you know if I get anything. I wish I had a huge suitcase. Look how cute this is. This chicken. <laughs> it's cute. I'm sure she doesn't want all this junk anyways. I just think it's cute. No horses though. Or, or reindeers, not horses. No reindeers. Can't find any. This chicken could be cute too. Put a plant in it or something. I like the little bunny, but it's not the time of year for me to be collecting bunnies. And it's small anyways, I like them bigger. The glass swans are pretty. And so are the cherubs. But again, don't need them. I got this cool book. It's kind of like the other one I got that said love, faith, and joy. This one's the night before Christmas. They're good risers. And then I got for uh, $1.99 these two beautiful candle holders. I really like them. This was $1.99, I believe, too. Yep, $1.99. And it's um, copper with the, this one's like, it's good for sauce and then dipping sauces, I guess. I thought maybe my daughter or my sister might like that. I bought this because my sister and I are going to do a rickety old all house that she found. And I thought we could make this work maybe on the outside of it or like the barbecue area or something. I don't know. Who knows? It's from Ecuador. This is a Bunnikin um, music box, and it should have a little bunny on it, a Christmas bunny, but it doesn't. But it was $1.99, and I couldn't turn it down. So I did good today. And then I got this tree. This was $3.99, I think. Um, and this was $4.99. This needs batteries. I need to check it. Hopefully it works. This, I think I'm gonna spray paint out. And then I got two of these two of these trees for a dollar ninety nine, two for a dollar ninety nine. So I did really good. I didn't spend a lot of money. Sorry about the music. I got to turn it off. Oh, it's pretty. Well, the little house works. I would prefer it to be a white light, but that's okay. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I see it's a little bit dirty here, so I'll scrub it down right now. Oh, it goes blue and red, green. So it's very Christmassy. It'll show better in the dark. I just put a couple green candles in there. It looks nice. And I'm gonna wash up everything else. But they look pretty. Let's see the light off. Yeah, they'll be nice at Christmas. Pretty princess. I just cleaned everything. It looks good. Um, I couldn't get some of this off. So I might buy some of that snow. Um, I scrubbed it too with this. I might buy some of that snow stuff and glue it on or something. I'll do something. Okay, I have all the fake flowers pulled. I just gotta wrap them in some paper and I just got the birdies to take down. Um, this is all done and I need to take that birdie down too. But everything else is done except for the reef. I'm gonna leave up till I come back. Um, and I think I'm done. Halloween is over. Winter is upon us. A lot of leaves to blow, as you can see. They're starting to drop. And the plant's still flowering. It's absolutely beautiful out today. Um, I think I said that already. I am going to wrap this tree here as best as I can. I bought some lights at the Value Village here. They're brand new. And I'm gonna see if I can do this. Let's see. It's very foggy out here th this morning. And that's cause it got cold. But I have a lot of running around to do as I'm leaving in the morning. The leaves are really dropping off the trees. 
um, from the back terrace here, but it looks like it's going to be a nice day once the sun comes up. Really nice out. I have to climb over here and wrap my rose a little bit. I know it's a little early, but I have to do what I have to do. I'm dismantling all my Halloween because I'm leaving in the morning. So I'll get this done today. I got most of it done already. And I got to run to the bank and then I'm done for the day. Have to get to bed really early because I'm up at three. Oh, I just broke his leg. I guess I can fix that. Yeah, I can fix it. <laughs> got lots of leaves falling, but it's rained, so it's too wet to blow. I just walked up to the bank and that was like, I'm not even joking, like a hour process. <laughs> it was pretty busy in there. This silly girl, she's blooming like crazy. Like she's got tons of blooms on her. Oh, I hope she makes it through the winter. It's my last day. I'm just walking up to the store here. And most of the leaves off these two are gone. I just cleaned up all the mess in the stairwells. Mm, fun. But these ones haven't fallen yet. And the cherry one's just starting to fall. Well, today I went to go for a pedicure and my regular girl is on maternity leave. So they gave me this lady. Well, I wish they didn't. She was rude, obnoxious, rough. I have no, no words for it. I almost got up and walked out with the wet feet. Trust me, I was close. Well, I did get a pedicure today and they're clean and everything, but the experience was not fun. Just so I would relax just so I had that 45 minutes to be by myself and chill. And this lady, it was like going into a torture chamber. I have never, in the 40 years I've done my feet, or 45, I have never had anybody treat me like this. Oh, I put a collar on Hunter. He's probably not too impressed. He's not, he's not looking at me right now. But we're get, I'm getting on a plane and he's gonna overlook the house. And I told him he could stay on the couch because he's being a good boy. I'm going to close from Toronto, and I will see you in Alberta. See you then. Say bye, Hunter. Hunter, say bye. Okay, my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. It's 3.15 in the morning. Anyways, I'm going to go down the stairs there. My Uber's on its way. My suitcase is already down there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. And I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't ask me why I'm singing at this time in the morning. I'll see you at the airport. I look like I'm going to the North Pole. Holy pants on, vest, scarf. <laughs> but it's minus 18 there today. So I'm gonna look like I'm going to the North Pole. See you there, guys. Bye, Hunter, you be a good boy. Gonna go say bye to your little brother, Hendrix. Bye, Hendrix. You be good. Came at the airport here, and they have Carlos's, uh, the cake boss's cake here. Judy told me about it. Mm, not that I need that at um, 5:30 a.m., but that's kind of cool. She said she had one. She said it was really sweet, but it was good. There you go. There's Carlos making the cake right there. There you go. Well, we're up in the air. Here we go. See you guys soon. A lot of snow on the ground. I don't like that. Well, I'm here just waiting on my sister, but I was very late, so not her fault. Why are you crying? <laughs> don't cry. We're going to go out and feed the chickens. So what are you doing, Laura? This is soaked grain. It's soaked for three days and it sprouts and it is better for the chickens to digest. It gives them better enzymes for their body. So I'm going to strain it here and get it ready to take to them. So you strain it off. Everything's just pre-soaked a little bit, but it, it's much healthier for the chickens. Okay. We're going out to feed the chickens, guys. On, on the farm now. She just has 10. She just moved here. Anyways, I didn't say good morning, so good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it's really cold up here today. What is it? Not even. It's not cold. Well, okay, it's really cold for me. This is uh, just pre-winter. Okay, cold for me. So, you know, 
wash this out and I'll set it up for in three days. And I have my plaid shirt on for the farm. <laughs> <laughs> so I take this now with some water in it. And so you reset another one? Yes. Okay, I got it. I have three on the go. Okay. So she has three of these on the go all the time. So this is tomorrow and the next day, and this will, so I rotate. There's this one down here, that's tomorrow's next day. And then I take my grain, and because I don't have too many, they also eat laying mash. I love mash. the cup you're using. Laying mash. It's real special for chickens, don't you yeah, think? it is, but it's here and it's handy. And so now I'll put this here. And then you know which one to use. Yeah, so I just keep rotating like that. And what's the chicken feed? What's in that? It's a mix of wheat and yellow peas. Okay. And then I have some scrap old buns that they'll get today. I usually have some kind of scrap. And then I'll go to my sea can and I'll get some lay mash and oyster shell. Okay. And the layer mash is high in protein. And the oyster shell is um, calcium for their eggs, so they... Um, Stay hard shells. Look at the beautiful roses my sister and brother-in-law bought me. Okay, we're going out to feed the chickens now. And she's just getting the rest of the stuff. She's got the water. She's got another heat light because it's going to get cold today. Candles, uh, fabric candles on my sea can so I don't get frostbit fingers. We're in the northern part of Alberta. They just moved here so they have a sea can from moving, but they're using it for storage right now. So they get it all situated. And a little bit of oyster shell. Oyster shell and what else? Um, laying mash. Laying mash. And then I have the soaked grain and some bread for a treat. As you see, the sun's not even up yet. And there's the chicken coop. Oh, I can hear them. And in, guys. Oh, it's so cute, the little hook coop. I let them know I'm here. I say, good morning, girls. Here we come. Hi, ladies. Hi, Bubbles. Come on in. I'm coming to meet your auntie. Look at the big rooster. It is warm in here, actually. Look how cute this coop is, guys. She's got little pictures up and little cafe drapes. I just caught this sticker from my friend. It's a little mouse sticker. Oh. Hi, girls and gentlemen. So this is Mr. Bubbles. He's big, huh? Yeah, and he's tame. He's gentle. I've touched him and fond raised him. My granddaughter raised him, so he's always been handled. This is their little window to get out. So uh, when they go outside. We have a little tool to move poop. So I can reach him. It's so cute. Hi, how are you? Do you have a name? Give her one. And we'll just call you. Mm, what are we going to call you? Your cognac color. Well, they all are. What we'll call, we'll call you? Betty. Yes, I like Betty. I have a suite to get outside here. So they can go in and out? Yeah, but if it's too cold, I'll keep them yeah, in. Yeah, block it in, okay. Yeah. We're going to feed them. And clean their water. So i got a brush here and sprouted grain in this one, which they're all dying for. I'll save some for outside. Oh, and they're all going to come right in, eh? This one is the lay and mash and oyster shell. Okay. And they take longer to eat this. They they love this and they eat it fast. Okay. And get a little bit of red scraps, which they'll freak out over right now because it's a treat. So that just we just picked up pre-bread rolls from the little store in town. Okay. Fake eggs in here while they learn where I want them to lay. I just have sand in them and they're taped. Okay. And then oh, someone has broken an egg in here because they're new layers. They're not all... Well, you just pulled out a real egg. No, I do, but this is a broken egg, so you have to clean that out of there. You don't want that getting all over your other eggs. So, so she got one egg out of there. They're, they haven't laid today. It's too early. Not enough. And he's a pretty one. Close this video. Look at my attire. I'm a total farm girl today. But I'll uh, videotape more when it's daylight. And I'll see you next week for my weekly video. Bye for Peace River. It's kind of cold. It's like minus 14 or something today. Crazy stuff. Ciao, everybody.